This is Twit. This is crazy, but I'm sure we ran across a story like this in the past. There's something that's that Palo Alto Networks has a piece of malware that they've they've named Combo Jack. Um, they named it Combo Jack because it hijacks the system clipboard watching for a valid cryptocurrency address to be pasted into the clipboard and then replaces that address with one of its own on the fly. So that's the jack part, the hijack part. The combo part is that, believe it or not, it can differentiate and detect the individual address formats for Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, Monero, Kiwi, Yandex Money, and two versions of Web Money, both denominated in U.S. dollars and in rubles. So, so if you're infected by this thing and you are wanting to send somebody money, right, they, they email you their, their cryptocurrency uh, address or it's, there's a donate to a uh, cryptocurrency address on a web page and you're feeling uh, beneficent. So you say, okay, fine. So you, of course, you're not going to do that, transcribe it by hand. So you mark it with your cursor, you know, you, you, you highlight it and you hit control C to copy it or whatever you do, right click and get a context menu and say copy. Well, that puts it on the clipboard. This thing Crypto or com combo jack is watching. It sees the clipboard suddenly containing a cryptocurrency address, which it recognizes. It parses it and recognizes it because it turns out they're all a little bit different, enough different that they can be disambiguated. It and it has its own accounts for all of the, in all of those cryptocurrencies. So it immediately replaces it with its own. Now. You go to your whatever it is, wallet or wherever you go to send some of your cryptocurrency to that cryptocurrency, never really paying attention to the fact that because, I mean, you know, everyone glosses over those crypto looking things. You know, you're not memorizing this thing that you just copied off the Web page. So then you paste it into your cryptocurrency payment app and say, here, send them some money. Well, Apparently, this scheme is working. It isn't easy to get it into your system, or at least, well, it, it, it's a long and involved exploit chain, but it's, it's an exploit chain that we've actually seen before. You receive an email containing a PDF. Uh, you open the PDF. Oh, and this particular PDF uh, says it's the scan of a lost passport. So that seems oh, I've like I'm looking for that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Send me that seems email. Like a, yeah. Seems like a bit of a stretch. You know, it's like, wait, man, I didn't lose a passport. Then you're just going to delete the email. But, you know, it, 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 it's more like, you know, like the, the scan of the traffic ticket that you received That's last week, the, yeah. the, the yeah. e-ticket or something. That yeah. seems more yeah. likely to get somebody. Your but anyway, are here, uh, your flight to Paris. Uh, right. That's yeah. right. There you go. Yeah. The, I'm, yeah, I'm exactly. opening that one. So you so you so you open the PDF, it opens a, an RTF file that it contains, a rich text format file, which in turn contains an embedded HTA object which attempts to exploit a known direct X vulnerability, which then executes a series of PowerShell commands to download and execute a password-protected, self-extracting SFX file, wow. which then installs Combo Jack. Holy so, cow. I know that. I mean, that's that's unfortunately. I mean, this is how circuitous this route is to get this thing installed in your machine. But it's happening. It's been found on people's machines. They're thinking, "What lost passport?" And then before they know it, they. They just can't help themselves. They need to take a look at it to see whose lost passport it is. And then bang, if they attempt to send cryptocurrency 
to anybody, um, it ends up going to the bad guys. So it seems like a hard way to make money, but you know, uh, cryptocurrency is the thing now.